So this whole ordeal ha started about three weeks ago, probably longer than that, but three weeks ago I started feeling really crappy, like I was had a UTI or something, and um, I just drank a lot of juice, cranberry juice, apple juice, and tried to get rid of it, didn't get rid of it, so I finally went to a doctor who prescribed a 10-day antibiotic which I knew wasn't working. Um, then a couple days passed and I was really not feeling good. I had a fever, I was throwing up off and on. Um, really bad pain in my left hand side. And my back was really sore. So my friend brought me here to the hospital. He got in right away, which was kind of scary. Um, and they brought me to the emergency part where I saw a doctor mm, like three hours after they took me in, which was kind of silly, but anyways. And um, finally gave me something for pain and then said I was admitted. They brought me up on the floor and did a bunch of tests, swab in the bum, swab in the mouth, swab in the nose, and they gave me some pain medicine and I went to sleep. So that was Sunday. Monday I wasn't feeling any better and I saw a doctor, a different doctor, or a medical student or somebody who said that I was going to see a urologist, that I had kidney infection, and that I might have stones, and that I needed to have a CAT scan done. But because I've had so many CAT scans done, I didn't really want to do another one. Um, I agreed to let them do it. And... They found out that I had E. coli, which is what they thought it was. And then um, two kidney stones on my left kidney and one on my right. They were small, so apparently they weren't obstructing anything, even though I wasn't peeing at all. And I had a catheter in, and it wasn't working. And it was just blood in there. And I had a fever, and it was still filling up. So, um, then they came back with scarier news that I had a superbug. Which, whenever you come into the hospital, they always ask you, have you ever been diagnosed with blah, 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 MSRL or something, something, something. And since you don't know what it is, I always say no. But now I'm going to have to say yes if I have to come back. So, um, I think it's ESBL is what I have. Uh, from what I googled, it was scary. It's a resilience to antibiotics. And it just means that over the time, I've built up an immunity to antibiotics. So therefore, anytime I'm getting any antibiotics, it's going to have to be in the hospital with IV. Which I already knew, but because of the way I was feeling, it just makes it a little bit scarier. Especially because there's only like three strains of antibiotics that can fight this infection. And um, they have to basically give me different ones every day, every 12 hours, to kind of figure out which one's going to work. So today, um, it's Saturday, I think we started on Monday, we might have started Tuesday though, I don't know even now. I've been in this private room, in isolation, since then, um, it's kind of crappy, but it's kind of good because I have... TV, which I'm paying 
quite a bit of money for, I'm not going to lie. But since we have free health care, oh well. And this is my bathroom with my own shower and my own tub, which is kind of nice. But again, kind of scary because I'm not allowed to be on the outside world. Which kind of is weird because people can come and visit me as long as they wash their hands. Um, and I have to wash my hands every time someone leaves. And I have to wash my hands pretty much throughout the day. And when they come in and when they leave, they have to wash their hands. Or wear gloves. Um, and it's very strange because that's basically the only way. I don't even know. I don't even know. I guess it's more for my protection so that I don't get more sick from people. Um, being sick. Not that I'm going to get them sick, it's that they'll get me sick. So that's why I'm in isolation. So um, my husband and my kid have been coming to visit me. Ryder's been coming and he's been super helpful and he's been really concerned about my bruising. And yesterday he saw one of these bruises here. And he said, I'm going to kiss it, I'm going to make it better. So he did. <laughs> so sweet. But yeah, so this is since Sunday that I've been here. Oh, stupid light. I don't know how much longer I'll be here. Hopefully not too much longer. They said that it's usually seven days course of antibiotics. Um, so that would put me on Monday or Tuesday. And Ryder's birthday's on Thursday. I haven't bought him anything yet. I haven't got the loot bags ready yet. Um, his party's paid for, thankfully. That's all taken care of, but as for everything else, no, not done. <laughs> And obviously, I'm not going to be feeling great, so uh, it's going to suck, but I'm going to get through it, and the most important thing is, is that I come out of this situation alive, and that I'm feeling better, and that they fight this. If I have to miss his actual birthday, which is on Thursday, I'm sure that's not a huge deal, because we can celebrate that any day, like on Friday, when his party is. But, um, I don't want to miss this party. I really, truly don't want to miss this party. And I'll be really upset. Uh, I already had to cancel the Tree of Bright Stars last night, which is a celebration we always go to for Leia, for our daughter who is still born. Um, and we put a, something on the tree for her. A star, and it's a memorial at a church. We've never missed a year. And I missed this year. Um, today I'm missing... Liam, Ryder's good friend, his birthday party, which, I mean, that's not a huge deal, but again, I'm missing out, um, and I'm sick, and I'm in the hospital, and it's no fun to be here, and it's scary, and I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I had to cancel my doctor's appointments for Monday. Ryder had a wellness appointment. I mean, yeah, Mickey could have taken him, but um, I wanted to be there to record everything, of course, and find out what he weighed, and what his head was and everything and I mean it just eat much easier to go to those appointments with both of us and I was supposed to have some tests run so I guess they'll run those tests here while I'm in the hospital so yeah and it turns out one of the nurses that I had the other day she works for our family doctor so she said she was going to talk to him and tell him kind of what was going on so that's kind of neat that she can do that well she asked me first but so yeah, so as of now, here I am, and I don't know, have any answers. I'm hoping that I'm feeling better. Today I'm feeling better. Last night was pretty rough, but no more blood. Um, I'm peeing on my own. Um, I still have my fancy thing in my arm here, my catheter. I port. 
so that they can hook me up to the IV tonight at 6. And I only paid for the TV for a couple more days, so um, i got to be out of here, honestly. I can't sit here. I've read my magazines. I've stared at these walls. Um, I've pretty much used up all of my data. So, yeah. I don't have my laptop, which because it's kind of... I don't want to be responsible for it, and I already have enough stuff I have to bring home. So anyways, um, I'll try to update when I hear anything, but no news is good news, I guess. Bye.